Well, fresh off their first win of the season last night, the Grand Rapids Griffins are back on the road tonight. For Michigan First Credit Union's game day preview, I'm Bob Kayser inside Chicago's Allstate Arena, where the now 1-2 and two Griffins will meet the 2-0 and oh Wolves. Well, a great time had by all last night at Van Andel Arena as the Griffins knocked off the Hershey Bears by a score of 6-3 to three in front of another sellout crowd of 10,834. Well, as many of you know, the preseason hype on this Griffins team was a lot about offense. However, the first two games netted just one goal, and that one came on a 5-on-3 power play in the first period of game one last Friday in Texas. So the Griffins had gone five periods without scoring until getting three last night in the opening 20 minutes. Six for the night. The Griffins unloaded on the Bears. It was led by Philip Zadina's two goals, his first as a pro in North America. Oh yeah, uh, thank you so much. And yeah, it was such a good game. You know, home, home but we won it. So it was uh, such a great day. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm so excited too, you know, that I can be here and play for the Griffins right now. So it's, um, you know, the way we, we played like uh, last night was uh, well, so good. Well, that's what we wanted and you know, the most important thing that we want, so it's good. Well, all eyes are on this 18-year-old sensation and his two goals last night certainly created a buzz within uh, the social media circles of Wings Nation. Out of his own end, on to Zadina, and out of Axel Holmstrom, dropped it back to Camper across for the one timer, right on. Save rebound, shot, score! Philip Zadina's got another one! Well, Carter Camper has been so impressed with Griffins fans as a visiting player the last couple of years. He could not wait to put on a Griffins uniform and play as a member of the home team in front of the great fans of Grand Rapids. And he wanted in the worst way to have a big night. And boy, did he deliver with a goal and two assists. Yeah, it felt great. It um, felt great to be a part of, uh, you know, contribute to a win there. And, the, you know, like I said, the fans were awesome as expected. And, um, you know, it's great to get off uh, on the right foot there. Well, the Griffins improved to 13-9-0-1 in regular season home openers and also have earned wins in six of the last seven games in which they played in front of a sellout crowd at the van. Well, big crowd expected here tonight at the Allstate Arena. This will be the Wolves home opener. Wade Megan comes back to Chicago. We spent the last couple of seasons now as a member of the Griffins. Of course, two years ago, he led the American Hockey League in goal scoring with 33 as a member of the, as we refer to him, the dreaded, hated Wolves. Yeah, it's kind of cool to come back in this building. Um, some good memories in here, and I already have seen a couple friendly faces around the rink, so that's uh, that's nice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, at the end of the day, the, the game's the game, but outside of that, um, it's good to see some of these people that I've spent so much time with the past couple of years. Well, the Wolves won their first two games of the season in Colorado against the newest member of the American Hockey League, the Eagles. That happened last weekend, so as I mentioned, this will be their debut on home ice tonight. They are now the primary affiliate of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights. The Griffins will uh, come into the hockey game with the same lineup they had last night. will be without Colin Campbell again, out with a concussion right now. They will start Patrick Rebar between the pipes, the un drafted free agent signed by the Red Wings this past summer. Uh, the soon-to-be 25-year-old Rebar has spent uh, his entire playing career up to this point uh, in Slovakia, his native Slovakia, as well as some games in the Czech Republic. The broadcast tonight from Chicago will come your way at 7.35. It will be on 101.3 The Brew, so make that programming note. Wood Radio will, of course, be uh, uh, all about Michigan football tonight, so we'll be on 101.3 The Brew. Pre-game coverage again at 7.35. Griffin's back home next Wednesday and Saturday against Texas. Texas and Chicago, respectively. Thanks, as always, for joining us, everybody, for our game day preview. Again, brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. This is Bob Kayser signing off from Chicago.